Oh, sorry, Principal Cortez. It's Myron Martin from the Smith Center. How are you? Great. How Hi. are you? Hi. 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 Th thanks for letting me pop into your meeting. I, I was just trying to get a little feedback from uh, some of our favorite principals and teachers today about the future of the Heart of Education Awards, because as you guys know, we had to cancel them this year. And, and I wonder if you could just help me understand whether this is something we should continue in the future. Oh, I absolutely uh -huh. no. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, I think uh, the value that it brings in it, it is such a great opportunity to highlight our amazing teachers like Mrs. Marcheski Hickey and all the things that they do that we so often don't get an opportunity to do publicly. Um, I definitely think uh, it's a great opportunity. Um, you know, this is my first year being nominated for the Heart of Education Award. And, um, you know, I just really believe that, um, you know, the Smith Foundation, I think, is all about art and community. And those are things that I'm really passionate about. And so it's always exciting to me to see those organizations um, get in touch with us and us with you guys. So it's exciting. For us, there's nothing more important or more exciting than honoring our teachers. And gosh, I wish you, you, you are a nominee. You, you were nominated this year, right? Correct. I was, yes. Yeah. So I wish you could walk the red carpet and come to the event and do all the things that we love doing. But of course, we're dark. Uh, we're closed. The Smith Center just can't do it. Uh, but uh, but I, I know we will continue it in the future. And in the meantime... Uh, it's Alyssa, right? It's Elisa. Uh, Elisa, Elisa. Thank you, thank you. I, uh, I'm here with a little news for you. Um, you were nominated for Heart of Education Award this year, and today I'm here to tell you that you are one of this year's winners of the Heart of Education Awards. <laughs> Woohoo! Congratulations, Ms. Marcheski and Hickey. You <laughs> thank are you so amazing. Much. Amazing, <laughs> all that you do for our kids. Thank you so much. Um, you know, uh, gosh, I guess I should check my mailbox. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I just, you know, the, it's, it is such an incredible opportunity to uh, hear this and to be a part of this and, um, you know, really, um, what this is all about is just our schools and our teachers have so many talented individuals that are doing things behind the scenes on top of the other duties. And, um, you know, I just have been so fortunate to have built such a relationship with Western High School and our swim team and our seniors. And, um, you know, it's uh, they're why we do this. So um, this is so exciting to me. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you know, the heart of education is all about teachers who go above and beyond and and you do what you do in the classroom. You do what you do for the community, for the school. And then then you uh, take the time to teach swim in a way that helps to to uh, create lifeguards in a city where we need them. So thank you for that, too. T t tell me a little bit about the process of, of training high school students for being a lifeguard. Um, so lifeguarding for high school students is actually a really great opportunity because anyone, even if you have limited swimming background, swimming is something that all students can achieve as long as they have access to the instruction and the facility. So really for me, that has been my role is let's get these together, let's get them on a bus and let's get to the pool because there are so many great organizations around the Valley that are already doing these lifeguard, um, life-saving trainings, like the city of Las Vegas, the YMCA, just to name a few. And so really those services exist for students. It's just about us connecting them, putting these opportunities right in front of our students. So students, even if they've never been on swim team, even if they had never even known how to swim, they can still receive this training and make the progress to earn above a minimum wage job before they graduate from high school. Yeah, it's terrific. Principal Cortez, how's it feel to have a Heart of Education winner uh, right there at Western High School? 
You know, it's it's amazing. And I have to say, Ms. Marcheski Hickey is among, like she said, amazing teachers that we have here. It's not about just the academics. And, and really, that's what she provides. She provides the support for the whole student, understands the long-term impact in really meeting all kids' needs. So thank you so very much. Of course, of course. Sorry. And of course, <coughs> while you're not walking the red carpet, you are getting the Heart of Education medallion. Uh, that's something you'll keep for life and you can share it with your friends and family and let your students pass it around the class. Um, and if you have a couple of minutes tomorrow and you could stop by the Smith Center, we have a check made out to you personally for $5,000. So I hope you'll come pick that up. <laughs> I suppose I could make a little time. <laughs> good, good. And start over the summer. Think about how you want Western High School to benefit from the other check that we're going to send to school for a program that you support. I have a feeling I know which program that is. <laughs> Thank you so very much for recognizing Ms. Marcheski Hickey and all of our teachers. We really appreciate all that you do in supporting education. Well, terrific, terrific. Thank, thank you both. Congratulations. Uh, we'll send you a little note so you know exactly how to pick up your check. But uh, we, we are very proud of you. you. You make the community proud. And I say on behalf of the Rogers Foundation and the Smith Center, way to go. Thank, thank you, you so much. I really yeah. appreciate it. And stay water safe this summer. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. See you guys later. Congratulations.